Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today's video. It's gonna be another jewelry video. I haven't done one of these since the holidays, so these are always like my favorite videos to film. So today's video is gonna be my jewelry collection, but specifically all of the pieces that I purchased from TJ Maxx. So it's just gonna be all of the things only from TJ Maxx that I've purchased like throughout the years, which is quite some things. Um, if you've watched any of my other jewelry videos, you know that I definitely like to buy jewelry from TJ Maxx. I'm always just like in that store in general. But most TJ Maxx have jewelry, at least the ones that I've been in, and most of them have at least one like booth or square of 14 karat gold jewelry. I'm gonna repeat this like a million times in all of my jewelry videos, but I always like to buy 14 karat gold jewelry. I would just much rather invest more in something that I know is gonna last and that I can like shower in it. I'm really bad with taking my jewelry off and I keep it on, I sleep with it, I shower with it, I swim with it and everything. So I always like to buy 14 karat gold. So that's another reason why I love shopping at TJ Maxx because they have 14 karat gold pieces for so much cheaper than if you were to go online and buy it from another brand. So they have really good prices for 14 karat gold jewelry. So I just wanted to spread the awareness. I haven't seen very many videos like this on YouTube. There's a lot of like TJ Maxx videos floating around, but I haven't really seen any jewelry ones. So I'm just gonna share what I know, share what I bought. The one thing I will say that I was hesitant to post this video about is it's kind of hard because I know that people like to watch these videos to get inspiration or possibly buy what I'm talking about because you can see it from the video. So that's the one thing, especially a lot of the pieces that I'm talking about today are ones that I purchased like two or three years ago even. So they're probably not online anymore and you probably can't find them. So I'm going to do everything I can to find some sort of a similar option and I'll link it below if I can't find the exact piece which I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to find any of the exact pieces because I haven't purchased any of these fairly recently. I think the most recent one was a necklace that I got which actually was a few days ago which got me to have the idea to film this video but yeah so I will post similar options for all of the jewelry pieces that I'm talking about and aside from that I really just wanted to film the video show you what I got from TJ Maxx just so that you can like have it on your radar and anytime you go in you can just gander over at the jewelry section and see what they have because that's definitely what I always do. I also wanted to say that it's really great for gifts because the price points are really good and if you're buying a gift for someone obviously want it to be good quality it's embarrassing if you buy someone a necklace and it ends up tarnishing so that's a really good hack if you are ever needing like a birthday gift or something special for someone is to get jewelry from TJ Maxx so let's just get right into it first we're going to start off with rings so they have a lot of rings at TJ Maxx and the one thing about it is you'll usually find like one style and then they'll only have it in one size so it's kind of like the luck of the draw here times you can find it online and usually what's online semi matches what's in store but sometimes it's just really just one off it could be like someone returned it or you never know so the first ring that i have here is this chain link ring and i bought this one from the tj maxx in new york that's where i got a lot of my stuff before i moved here um but this is just a 14 karat gold I usually wear it on my pointer finger but it is just a chain link ring. I have one next to it from Mejuri, and this one is like a soft chain, so it's kind of like a necklace and you can move it around, but the one from TJ Maxx is solid, so it doesn't bend or anything, which is nice and not nice in a way. I really love like the ones that do bend, they're more comfortable, but I just love it. Self-explanatory, these are super popular now. And the next one is, I guess you could call it a chain ring, and it's flexible, just like the other majority one that I was just talking about. My mom actually got me this one um, recently. I think it was during the holidays this year. She got matching ones for my sister and her and me. We always do like matching cute gifts for the holidays. Really love this one. It's, like I said, it's flexible, so it's really comfortable, and you can wear it on multiple different fingers. So I will just like throughout the day take it off and like put it on a different finger and it's just so comfortable and I love the way it looks. It's just like a very different, you probably can't see it from all the way back here, but it's just like a different type of ring. Like I've never really seen one like this before and you can wear it with 
the little gold square in the back if you don't want it shown or you can flip it to the front. I kind of like it. I was honestly thinking about getting it engraved just because it's like a flat surface. I feel like it would be cute to get like a little letter engraved on it or something. Um, maybe I'll do that in the future, but yeah, that's my next ring. I just love this one. My mom actually has the bracelet version of it. Yeah, and it's really cute. So love that. That was a gift, so I don't know how much it was, but. And then this next one, I did a little bit of a modification to it. So I'm gonna try and just like break it down. But basically it's this really, really, really thin band. When, when I purchased it, it was a thin band. I think I got it in like a size six or something. And I used to just wear it as just like a dainty like stacking band. So if you don't know, I repurpose a lot of my jewelry and I had the idea to combine a pair of my earrings with this ring and I ended up making this cute like flower ring. But the actual band itself was from TJ Maxx and I believe it was like $49. It was either $49 or $59, but it was really affordable for just a thin band. Obviously it's, there's like nothing in this. It's like minuscule amounts of gold, but um, really good idea to if you're looking for just like a simple gold band to check out TJ Maxx because they always have some form of like a simple band in there. So highly recommend that. Now I have this cute little pinky ring um, that I turned it into, which is fun. I got like wear out of it when it was just a simple thin band. And now I have like a cute little design that I made, but I just wanted to shout that out because it's one of my favorite things to get from there. It's just like a thin, simple band to stack with like all of the other pieces that I get. Next, moving on to bracelets. I only have one here with me right now because I actually gave the other one to my mom. Um, surprisingly, I've only bought two bracelets from TJ Maxx before. Bracelets are my favorite, so I usually just get them from like tons of different places. But I came across this one and I actually purchased this one online. Their shipping takes a while, or at least it did. I bought it like around COVID time, so it took a long time to ship. But this one was about 160. It is a rope chain bracelet and it has a really cool like box chain kind of like dangle part and these little balls, I'm explaining it the weirdest way, but basically you take the little ball and you pull it and it tightens and then it has this little piece of dangles. So I love it. I just love the way it looks. It's like dainty, but it's kind of a cute little statement and I'm just obsessed with this bracelet. When I found this and the fact that it was at TJ Maxx, I was honestly like blown away. So it's really comfortable. I also like how it is adjustable because I have a really tiny wrist. So anytime I buy a bracelet from somewhere, I always have to get it resized. So this one, I don't. And it's really easy to take on and off by yourself. So I love that. This bracelet, I am just obsessed with. But yeah, they have really good bracelets, so definitely recommend checking those out. The other bracelet that I have from them, I don't have. I gave it to my mom, um, so she wears it. But basically, it looks kind of a combination of these two bracelets that I have right here. So it's like an open chain link bracelet. It's like this one's really thin on the right side, and then this one's a lot thicker. So I would say it's in between both of them. So it's a paperclip bracelet. I'll see if I can get her to send me a picture, but... Um, it's really cute. That one was a little bit more expensive. I think it was like 170, but it's definitely like a bigger piece and like more of a statement piece. It's not as dainty as the other one. So that one was a little bit more, but usually it's like that go for like $300 at other jewelry brands or on Etsy. So definitely if you have your eye on one of those, I would recommend checking them out. They also have a lot of really cool paper clip necklaces and those are around 300 but like I said, it's a lot longer. So but for the bigger pieces, like a paperclip necklace, I would definitely recommend checking out TJ Maxx because they're a lot more affordable than what you would find on Etsy. Okay, next, moving on to necklaces. This is my favorite herringbone necklace that I got from TJ Maxx. This is another one that I ordered online. Oh, hey. <laughs> it shipped to me. It is just a simple herringbone necklace. Um, when I originally bought it, it was, I think, either 18 or 16 inches long, so it was a lot longer, and I wore it like that for about a year, and then I decided to have it shortened, which was the best decision ever. It looks so much cuter shortened, so I love that. That one was, oh, I, I probably shouldn't be saying prices because I'm really just giving a ball game, but I, everything from this haul is under $200. Let's just say that. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, that's definitely fair to say. So I'm not even gonna go into prices anymore because I don't wanna steer you in the wrong direction and just 
ballpark. Um, but I do know that that one was around the 170 price range, which is pretty good for a Harry Bow necklace. Um, but yeah, self-explanatory. I just love this one. These are very in trend right now. They have them pop up at TJ Maxx here and there. It's definitely not a style that I see there all the time, but um, I will say when I was there the other day, they did have one. So, and they do vary in sizes. Mine is super thin, um, but they do have thicker ones on occasion. This next one is the most recent purchase that I made from TJ Maxx. Well, I bought this one a few days ago and essentially it's like a lariat necklace and i love the style of the chain it catches the light when i'm wearing it and i specifically got this necklace to wear it with bathing suits i love the way it looks with like a button down shirt and a bathing suit because the lariat comes down in the front honestly don't think that you're supposed to wear this necklace this way because the clasp is attached to the part that is adjustable so i really don't think that i'm wearing it the right way i think you're supposed to just like it's just an adjustable necklace and then the longer piece hangs in the back i don't really know how you're supposed to wear it but i really don't care i bought this with the intention of bringing it to a jeweler to have them remove the clasp part because it's adjustable and it just slips over my head so that's what i'm going to do probably in a few days i'm going to bring it to him and ask him to just solder where the clasp is so that it's connected and then that way it doesn't have the ugly like clasp in the front because i was wearing it the other day and my friend wanted to like flip it over because the clasp was on the bottom because obviously the clasp is supposed to be in the back so she flipped it and I was like, oh no, it's supposed to be that way. So that gave me the idea to do that, which also gave me the idea that I was definitely wearing it wrong, but who cares? Wear it however you want. So that's the way that I like to wear it. Lariat necklaces are super popular, like body chains, and I just love this one. The fact that it's 14 karat gold, I can wear it if I'm going swimming. I don't have to like worry about taking it off at the beach and stuff. It is definitely a daintier chain, so I don't think I would wear it in the ocean or anything. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, but I just think this one is so cool and like more of a statement. A lot of my jewelry is like forever pieces that I keep on and usually steer off and get like crazy things like this. So I'm really excited to have this as part of my collection. This next necklace it is really special to me. My mom actually bought me this one for Valentine's Day last year. So it's just a really thin dainty box chain and then it has a CZ stone on the bottom. TJ Maxx does have some diamonds but I would say most of the stuff that they have is CZs. They do have a section usually in some of the different TJ Maxx's that's like 14 karat gold and diamonds, but this one's a CZ. I love it. It's so cute. I used to have a necklace like this that wasn't gold and I wore it all the time. So when I got this one, I was really excited. But it's just like a dainty, like layering, stacking piece. It looks good by itself too, but I always like to stack everything. The more the merrier. So really love this one it's very dainty and also has three levels of where you can adjust it so you can make it shorter or longer depending on what you like and also i will link my repurposing video in this video because in that video i also shared what i like to do with extra chains so i think i'm going to do that with this one because i always wear this one on the shortest one so i have that extra loop and that is one of my favorite necklaces to buy when they have the extra loops like that because you can make really cool earring accessories with it so make sure you check out that video to know what i'm talking about but yeah i think i'm gonna end up doing that with this necklace because i pretty much always wear it on the shortest length last but not least moving on to earrings i love 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 earrings from tj maxx if i had to pick a favorite category definitely the earrings they are so affordable at tj maxx and they always have the most and they're so cute. So specifically Huggies, I have so many Huggies from here. Unfortunately, I am left with one because I have lost them over the years, which is not good and that's definitely my fault. I just wanted to share this one as an example of the types of Huggies that you can get from TJ Maxx. So this one is a CZ Huggy. It's 14 karat gold, which I love because I, like I said, sleep with my earrings and never take them out. So this one is just really cute. It has CZs going all the way up the front and I'm just obsessed with it. So self-explanatory. Their Huggies are also really affordable. Really they range from like $59, $49 and then the studs get a little bit cheaper depending on the style. So yeah, but that's just like a general price range. And I would say if you have like a birthday for a friend or something, get them a Huggy from TJ Maxx because I just love them. They also have really good brands. Um, Rachel Zoe. There's another brand, Mia Fiori, I think. They, like, a lot of TJ Maxx jewelry is from that brand. 
um, those are all, always really cute. So those are just like two to look out for. These studs that I'm sharing next are super fun. I came across these and I just really like they spoke to me. I usually don't buy anything like this from color, but I have been really trying to get into like colored stones more. Love the way that it looks and I feel like it's really fun for summer specifically. So I'm really excited to do another like whole jewelry collection video aside from my TJ Maxx because I just recently bought a pendant charm um, that has colored stones in it. So I'm really excited about that. But with that in mind, these cherry studs are so cute. I feel like they're just so fun. If you wear your hair up and you have like cute other studs with them or even huggies, I just love them. I feel like they're so cute. So I am not a red girl. I hate red. The stones in here are like, I think they're pink. I don't know what kind of stones they're actually. I'm, I'm really not sure. The color of these are obviously the stem is green and the cherry part is pink. So that's what I loved about these. I love cherries, but I never buy anything cherry because they're always red. So the fact that these were pink, I just had to get them. I feel like they're so cute for summer. And last but definitely not least, my all time favorite, 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 favorite piece of jewelry that I have bought from TJ Maxx. Maybe my favorite, no, it's not my favorite piece of jewelry ever, but it's very high up there. And when I saw these, I just, I literally bought them within like two seconds and I genuinely have not taken them out of my ears since I bought them. But these paperclip earrings, they are stunning and I am so obsessed with them. So paperclip earrings are really popular. These are very good size. They're like a really good like statement earring and I, I sleep with them. When I first put them in my ears, I was like kind of took me a while to get used to like the way that they feel, but now I can't imagine not having them in. I genuinely have had them and I think I bought them like February of last year. So I've had them for so long. The reason why I love this so much is the balls on there are diamond cut and they match my ball chain necklace and my ball chain bracelet. So I just love the way they look together. And also, so I'm getting up close here, but these are them in my ear, and if you see the ball chain right here, they also match these huggies with this little chain that I have hanging from them. So the ball, the diamond cut balls match, and I actually made these myself. So I believe those were closer to 200, but still not 200. They were like 180 or something along the lines, and usually paper clip earrings are like 180 per earring. They don't even come in a set. So these were like 180 for both of them, which is just unheard of. And I love them. I, I just, that's fine. I, I can't believe I found that. I will try and find something similar to link for those, but do not get my hopes up. All right, that is everything that I'm sharing today in my TJ Maxx jewelry haul. I have the feeling that I have some more floating around, but this is just what was at the top of my jewelry drawer and what came to mind as like my favorite that I have from TJ Maxx right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Got some inspiration at least. I'm gonna try my best to link everything I can. And yeah, I'll be back for another jewelry video soon, hopefully sooner than later. But please make sure to subscribe, comment down below what you purchased from TJ Maxx or if you plan on purchasing or what your favorite piece was. And I will talk to you guys next time.